Hey everyone, I'm Remy. I have been making Team Fortress 2 related content on this YouTube channel for many years. As you can guess, over time people change. Team Fortress 2 was and still is one of my favorite games ever. But after so many years of playing, talking about the game and making content almost every day, it became less fun. To remind you, for the past 5 years, the game has been in a terrible state. There hasn't been much new content to enjoy and nearly every match was filled with cheating bots that ruined the experience. I want to admit that at one point, Team Fortress 2 stopped being a game I played for enjoyment and became more of a chore. Basically, I am kind of burnt out from Team Fortress 2. I cannot bring myself to play it or make videos about it. Even if I did, it would feel dishonest towards you. This isn't the first time I have experienced burnout with Team Fortress 2, but I believe it's better for me if I decide to change things up. Let me explain what's gonna happen to this YouTube channel. While I had many ideas and videos I wanted to make, I just don't feel like it right now. This has been like this for about half a year, during which I lost most of my passion. I have made a few videos here and there, but my most recent one was the final straw. It was something I wanted to make about a year ago, but I finished it by cutting so many corners. The thumbnail was made a year ago too. So really, I just wanted to get a video out as quickly as possible with the least amount of effort. I am telling you this because I want you to understand that Team Fortress 2 has stopped being a game I really enjoy. After that, I decided to think about what I wanted to do and, and I came to the conclusion that I have to switch it up and make videos about different things. Here's the thing, my channel has only been about Team Fortress 2 and I realized many of you aren't interested in anything else. You subscribed for TFT videos. I have tried making videos about other topics but those videos performed much worse compared to TFT content. That is why I decided to create a new YouTube channel called Dream Sky. If you didn't know, for a couple of years, I have been live streaming as a VTuber and have wanted to grow my Twitch channel. But I realized that without making videos, shorts, or and post, you cannot really grow a streaming channel. Over the past week, I have been making videos for that new channel and I have been having a blast. I realized I still love making videos. The problem wasn't that I stopped enjoying YouTube itself. I was just truly burnt out from Team Fortress 2. I had been thinking about TF2 every day for the past few years, so no wonder I got burnt out. I'm really happy with how far I have come with this channel, and I hope you enjoyed my videos. I truly appreciate everyone who has subscribed and supported me. Without you, I wouldn't be here talking about this, so don't feel sad. But this is the end. Maybe one day I'll make the videos I really want to about TF2 or come back for seasonal updates. Other than that, I'm done. Don't get me wrong, Team Fortress 2 is still a timeless masterpiece, but every game becomes boring after a while. To put it into perspective, I have been playing TF2 for 5-6 years with over 3000 hours. I mean, most of us used to play Minecraft like crazy, but nowadays we just play it for a couple of weeks and forget about it. That is how I feel about TFT now. I might jump in for a few matches, but I don't feel like playing much more than that. Given that, it would feel extremely dishonest to make TFT videos praising the game and talking about how great it is. It's really a shame because just recently, TFT got fixed. There are no more bots and you can finally play casual without those stinky aim bots. Yet, I'm still bored. Also, I forgot to mention that because I was a TFT YouTuber, I always felt like I should play TFT instead of other games. In the end, I wanted to grow my channel, but I also want to enjoy other games. In fact, I have hundreds of games in my Steam library. I have yet to try out. Steam sales, man, what can I say? I feel like because I have forced myself to play TFT most of the time, it kind of made me less interested in gaming. But now that I go back, play the games I had for a while I, I that I haven't tried out, I noticed how many great games I missed really. There's also my university. I want to focus more on my school because 
for the last two years. I have been kind of ignoring it. At one point, I was literally making a TFD video instead of study studying for an exam. What was I thinking? Like you can guess, for, the, for that exam, I got really bad grades. That was not healthy at all. So I feel like giving up on this channel in the long run will be better for me. Getting a proper job uh, with my education. Speaking of health, there's also the social aspect of things. I was so serious about maintaining my channel that at times I would just shut myself in my room and play TF2 and make videos. Maybe as a kid that would have been amazing being able to play games all day. But now that I have grown up, I want to do other things too. Live a more balanced life. By the way, I'm not saying that being a YouTuber is super difficult. It's not. But if you're not a famous person making videos that gets hundreds of thousands of views, YouTube isn't easy either. The problem is that you are your own boss and at some point, you feel like you need to work on your YouTube channel every day, every single hour. That becomes really unhealthy. There's also some luck involved with YouTube. You just try to make a lot of good videos, throw them out there and hope one gets picked up by the algorithm and helps you grow your audience. Anyways, if you're interested in VTubers and gaming videos, feel free to check out my new channel. I have got a couple of videos there for you to watch and you can also join me live on Twitch. I usually stream on Fridays and weekends in the evenings. I found that making videos from my live streams is much easier than creating TF videos. If you look at TF content creators, they truly make amazing videos and compared to them, I really felt like mine's were subpar. So I would try to, you know, make SFM animations and add fancy effects and all that. Meanwhile, on the Rainbow Sky channel, the videos are simply edited live streams. I just cut them up, remove the empty spaces, and that's it. And I actually enjoy doing that, unlike adding keyframes and animating everything. I still think these are neat videos. Recently, I have found myself enjoying this style of content more than the highly edited ones. These days, I can just sit down and watch, uh, I don't know, Queso's past live streams for hours, or when Uncle Dane uploads a gameplay video. I enjoy that too. Right now on YouTube, so many people are trying to make highlighted video essays that it doesn't even feel unique anymore. But yeah, on Rim Sky, you're mostly going to get my live streams edited. I might make some standalone videos as well. They're also shorts. I'm still figuring stuff out as we go, so yeah. Instead of being a niche channel covering only a single game, I am going to have a more broad audience, which on paper is a more difficult thing to do. You usually want to create a channel covering a really niche topic, which people will find you. But this is what I want to do instead. Play all kinds of games that I believe are fun and share it with people. As for why I wanted to become a VTuber, I actually wanted to be a VTuber before I even made a TFT videos. That was my original goal actually. I like live streaming because I feel like uh, it is it feels more genuine. Shows more of my personality and stuff. Meanwhile, in videos you basically read a video script or whatever. I simply like being a YouTuber. I also realized that Team Fortress 2 is one of those games that truly survived two decades thanks to all kinds of creators and the community. If it was just the game alone, I don't think we would see hundreds of thousands, thousands of players who came come back to play TFT each update. So there are many new people who are getting into content creation, making TFT videos. As someone who have been here for multiple years, my advice is that don't look at YouTube and analytics and make the videos you truly enjoy. Don't take the negative comments too seriously. Uh, there, will be, there will be always people hating on stuff. Take things easy or you'll end up burnt out like me. Keep a balanced approach instead. Even though almost everything about the, the game has been discussed, even the pumps and 6000 has an hour long video. Still, there's definitely a demand for TFA videos. This could be funny clips, animations or talk about the game. But most importantly, 
make videos with no expectation. If we expect to get a millions of views with a single video, you are never going to be happy. Only make videos as a hobby with no expectation. If one of your videos blows up and you get people watching your videos, that's good. But still, in my opinion, you shouldn't take that as, oh, I'm famous YouTuber now. I'm going to make videos every day and make money. I'm not saying that uh, that cannot happen. I'm just saying that keeping your expectation, expectation low is the way to go. In my case, I was genuinely getting sad over some of my videos when they weren't getting as many views I hoped they would get. And that would ruin my mood for the whole day. I would blame stuff on how YouTube is bad or the algorithms and stuff. Don't do what I did. Yeah. As for the game itself, I don't think TFT will, will make a magical comeback, get ported to Source 2 and have a billion players. That's unrealistic. I just hope that the game stays enjoyable without cheaters. Team Fortress 2 is not a dead game or dying. I mean, there was the whole Concord thing. This game costed $400 million and failed miserably. We can truly say that TF2 beat the Concord is so bad that Sony decided to increase their console prices. I'm kind of joking. We TF2 people can be annoying at times joking about how TF2 outlives every game. And that's kind of true. As long as there are people who enjoy playing TF2, the game will live on. Maybe not a really shining big star, just a star in the sky. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. It's probably ended up being long either way. I think I'll talk about most of the things I had in mind. Again, thank you to everyone who watched my videos, subscribed and left a like. Without you, I wouldn't even be here to begin with. Like I said before, I might make a couple more videos after this one. If I feel like talking about, I don't know, the upcoming Scream Fortress or just a simple gameplay video talking about stuff, but I cannot promise that. Uh, that's it for today. And like always, thank you for listening to me and goodbye.